We're in chem class and we're floating homemade boats and we're trying to see who can hold the most pennies. Ah, it works. Okay. It floats. Pennies. How many pennies? One, two, three. It's getting close. It's getting close. <laughs> Seven, seven, eight, <laughs> seven, nine, eighty. Oh! Eighty. Okay, that's good. Our raft. Okay, hold on. Oh, I gotta get into this boat. It's awesome. Over-designed. Spared to no expense designing this boat. <laughs> So, so far, the, the beneficial, the most beneficial one was the, the, the 88, 80 pennies, huh? Okay, oh, I need he a picture. Hold on, wait. Like the 66 pennies. Oh. That's what we want the lowest number. Like, oh, you want the <laughs> okay. lowest number? Okay, good. Very good. Okay, here we go. Awesome boat didn't win. But it was cheap, right? So cheapish. Cheapish. Go up there. Go up. So chem is over. Um, my teacher had to talk to me because apparently I had missed one too many uh, questions on the safety quiz from Tuesday and. I don't know, I'm just kind of bummed out about that um, because now I have to retake the quiz. But I mean, it's all to make sure that I'm on the same page with all the other students in the class and that we're being safe. So I get it. So I'm going to retake the test on Tuesday. It's just a bummer because I got a lot of chem homework to do this weekend. I have to like read all of like chapter one and then go online and do book questions online and it's just a lot of work for this class and it, it's kind of a bummer. Hey guys, um, I just want to apologize for what today's video is probably going to be. Um, as soon as I got home from school, um, I just crashed. Like, I had to just take a nap because I was dead tired from last night because I didn't sleep very well. Um, also, I was up late uh, doing work, f like computer work, um, like editing my some of my videos and then moving them onto my external hard drive and stuff. But then also, it's like I was sleeping, but then I like woke up from a bad dream or something, and then all of a sudden I just hear my cat just like just making this weird noise and she ended up like puking on my bed sheet and that's why I don't have it on my bed um I just tore it off and I don't know it was just it was a bad night last night um but I'm now headed back up to school Thursday's my longest day at school. Um, I have like five hours or something at school for um, chem. And then I have another three hours, like right now, basically, um, up there for English. So after that, it should be like nine o'clock at night. Round two of Thursday school. So I just got to school. Um, so a big helicopter and a fire plane headed towards some like 
the direction of my house and apparently my dad just called me and said the power's out so I wonder if there's a fire near my house I don't know until I get home it's still before my class and um, my English class isn't in the same classroom it has been the past two times which is I don't know it's kind of strange but I just feel depressed for some reason but I don't know what why um, maybe it's because I just took a nap for like two hours I don't know maybe I'm tired instead of feeling depressed but I'm, I'm just not feeling right right now yeah yeah no I'm vlogging for my YouTube video today no you're good um English class is over um I don't know I'll I'll talk to you about stuff that just kind of dawned on me in class guys but uh literally English class was the highlight of my day and that's really sad to say yes, like I agree. Dakota totally agrees but yeah. no joke it was the highlight of my day <laughs> I just got back to my car um, the video quality is really crappy right now but um, you would not believe how beautiful it is out here at night in Grass Valley I got a weird fortune this time. You will do better in real estate than in stocks. I'm not gonna do either, so... It's just weird. Anyways, it's like, my English class was really fun. Um, I got to see my old English teacher, which was great. Um, I don't know, she's, she's just an awesome person. And I always enjoy her class for some reason. Um, but she had mentioned in the middle of class that, I mean, she lives in an old folks home. I know that. Um, but she's probably one of the youngest um, elderly people there by a lot. But um, she notices a lot of people there who live their life in regret. And, I mean, to think about that, it's really sad to think that there's all these elderly people there and, you know, they didn't get to experience all the that they won't have wanted to experience, do their dreams, basically. Um, I mean, right now, I know, I mean, I'm, I don't regret anything that's happened in my life. Um, do I have dreams... Yeah, I have dreams. I mean, the future is uncertain for me. I don't know when I'll die. You know, I could die tomorrow. I mean, you never know. Um, but um, I'd love to travel, you know, see the world. Um, I want to become a dentist. I, I think I've said that. Um, but yeah, there's so many things that I still want to experience. And, um, I don't know, I, I think I could be regretful, but I feel so bad for all those people in that old folks home that regret not being able to do what they wanted to have done earlier in their life. But this is something I wanted to bring up to you guys. Um, you know, what are you thankful for in your life? Um figure out what are you what do you what have he, what have you accomplished what are you happy about 
And what are the things you haven't accomplished that you want to do? Um, those are your goals. Um, I think in life you have to have goals set in order to progress, to achieve, to reach the next point. I mean, to, I don't know, to look like when you get to an old point or get get old in your life and you look back on everything, um, it would be nice to have done everything that you could have ever possibly wanted to do and more and think about, wow, what a great and full life I've ever, like, I've had. And, um, I don't know, but it's just something for you guys to think about. And I just wanted to bring up because it, it just seems so prevalent in my English class. So I just want to say to you guys, live life full out. And I'm sure you've heard that before, but don't live your life in regret. Follow your dreams and live your life to the fullest. Anyways, guys, um, I know today was probably weird and um, especially for me, um, it was just really terrible at the beginning and for some reason my English class totally just made me happy and um it that was probably the highlight of my day and you know something as silly as seeing one of your favorite teachers or favorite people in in your life in just like one second for one second you can just draw from their energy and that's what I did I just ended up becoming so happy after seeing my English teacher I don't know why but anyways I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time